Welcome to Mangly Town and today you join me on the train station 2 app game uh, just where I'm about to go up a region going from Finland to the Netherlands so show you what I get train wise and what changes in the game uh, first of all I'll show you some prep that I've done um, normally I'd like to go up right at the end of an actual event but there's still four days odd left but first bit of prep I've done is I haven't collected any of the event rewards apart from the rewards pass train. I wouldn't have normally have got the pass until I've gone up the region, but the blue electric loco was the last train that I wanted for my collection in Finland. So I bought that beforehand. Uh, so that's in Finland. Any other trains I learn from this will go into the Netherlands. So we've got all the bits I've still got to collect there. I've got a note of these and they should go up once I'm in the Netherlands. So that's why I haven't collected anything now. I've not been desperate for them. So I may as well get the couple of extra gears I'll get for each one of these rewards in the Netherlands. Bit of other prep I've done as well is I've been sitting in Finland, I think, for nearly about a year. So I've been able to build up quite a few parts. I'd have liked at least 3 million gold, but I'm not too short there, so that should at least give me a chance to upgrade quite a few trains when I get them. The other thing on the event as well, because of the trains you can normally get in Finland, although I'll end up with enough gold coins to get the moon truck, because you can't get a legendary gold train diesel as a normal train in the Netherlands, I'm going to ignore that one. I don't want to be stuck with just one gold diesel train and forever get jobs, possibly, which I've only got one train for. It saves me having to buy um, more event gold diesels. I can concentrate on getting more of the steam and the electric ones, which are available in the Netherlands. Um, just trying to think of any other prep. There's a few little bits. Um... In the event rewards, uh, sorry, in the um, season pass for the union that I haven't collected yet. May need to see if they'll go up at all when I go up to the Netherlands as well. Would be nice, but I can't see that I'm going to get any more than 20 union gears. So I think that's the main bits of prep. As you can see, I'm literally a couple of thousand away from the Netherlands so I've got all three jobs lined up ready to collect only thing I will say as you can see from the first one the orbital lift the amount of XP on these event jobs has been catastrophic so I stopped playing that one that's been sitting there ready to collect for nearly a week and I've just been playing the other two ones because the XP has been on average about 5,000. And although the keys have dropped and the EP went up a little bit, um, so I'm not going to earn all the trains from the event shop. Um, I've got enough to get the gold, the blue and the grey. I'll see how I go on the rest of the game and whether I manage to get the purple one or not. But the main thing is I have got all of the event pass that I can claim. And with the uh, train containers there as well, um, I've built up just over 15,500 normal keys. So that's enough to get about 150 normal trains. And also in the union shop, I've been saving up and got about 40,000 union points there so that will give me about 250 union trains as for what i've already got in finland i was lucky enough to get six of the gold union trains five and four of the purple I'd have preferred another John Wilkes, but that should give me enough. And I basically capped myself at nine of each of the two blue ones and nine of each of the three grey ones. 
Um, obviously, when I start earning these in the Netherlands, I'm pretty sure you can only get common diesels in the Netherlands, but as I'll be saving nine of each of the steam and the electric ones, that's going to give me enough trains to send, and plus I'll be building up um, event commons as well. So I think that's about all of the prep. So I'll do the deed and go to the Netherlands. Now I'm collecting all of these first because it hasn't put me into Region 7 yet. So at the moment I've got the next set of jobs where I've still got two in Region 6 and one in Region 5. So that means I can still easily earn the points from there um, without being buggered by Netherlands trains, <laughs> Region 7, which I'd have to build up. So that has now unlocked the Netherlands. And one thing I'm very pleased to see, as I'm never too sure here, is I can collect gold straight away. Obviously, I will need some trains, and I'll be collecting the event gold train first, and getting that upgraded. I'll keep some notes, so I can tell you how much gold that's taken. Um... I'm going to open up my train containers in little batches of 5 or 10. Um, I won't show you that as I do it. I'll come back a little bit later and show you all the trains i got. I did a live-ish opening before and, very sorry, it was quite boring. Uh, right, so this has updated this already. So, grey parts have gone from 517 to 671. Like I need more of them. Blue has gone from 104 to 136. Purple, 30 up to 39. And gold has gone from 12 to 15. And there's been no change in the amount of gems or plans. The gold has gone up from 900 to 1425. And, yep. Matt Keys is unchanged as well, so that's the only difference there. Um, as for Union Shop, uh, Mount of Gold Gears hasn't changed there. And can't see anything different on that. So we just need to check the season pass as well. And yeah, pla uh, blue parts has gone up again, 104 to 136. And yeah, same again, 517 up to 671. So that is the same figures as before. And the Union Gears hasn't changed at all. So, I'll now get some trains. And I'll start opening containers. And I'll show you what I've grabbed later. But, as I can go and collect some gold straight away, I'll go and get that one upgraded. Let you know how much it's cost me. And I'll come back to you on that in a few seconds. That's all of those collected. And that should have gone up ever so slightly as well. I think it was eight gold parts before. I didn't jot that down now, but I've got a screenshot somewhere. So I'll go and check on that. So we'll have a quick look. So I should be able to get that done fairly quickly. So, yep, I'll come back to you in a few minutes. 
and after a lot of reward claiming and train container opening, I'm back. I'll come onto the trains in a minute because I'm hoping I found a glitch in the system, certainly on Union trains. But for now, I'll go through comparison on the parts. Now for the event, it's gone from 8 to 10 on the Legendary, 30 to 39 on the Epic, 64 to 83 on the Rare, and from 335 to 435 on Common Parts, just from going up the region. Now what has affect the 4 hourly box has also changed. So that's gone from 9 gold parts to 11, 17 to 21 on the legendary, 81 to 105 on the rare, and 242 to 314 on the common parts. And then for the big box, we've seen a change of 45 to 58 on legendary, 90 to 116 on the uh, purple. Uh, rare has gone from 446 to 580 and the lovely common parts 1337 to 1738. So that covers all the changes on the parts. First bit on the trains. My event legendary. It took just over 15,000 grey parts. 1,211 gold parts, 296,000 gold coins to upgrade it fully to the 80 load. Um, it now means in the Netherlands I can collect 2,160 gold coins um, every four hours. Although it's possible to do five, I can comfortably do four collections in a day. So it's 8,600 a day, which means in 34 days that would actually pay for itself, which isn't bad going. But as for train containers, first of all, union trains. Now I've come across what I believe is a glitch. Now I've got enough union trains that I needed in Finland. So I hadn't claimed any union containers for quite some time, at least a couple of weeks. So, I took a batch of 50 to start with, and the first 10 it gave me were all the better trains. Um, the Epic and the Rare is what I opened first. I got 10 Epics and Rares, and then the other 40 were all common trains. In the few hours since I started the country change, I've done a few more odd containers and again it's given me a couple of either epic or rare trains and then the rest common. It always gives me the better trains first from the batch which I've selected and obviously I'm going to the shop selecting the union containers and up in the quantity for how many I want. I believe, because I haven't claimed any for a week or so, it's working out the odds in that time how many decent trains I would have earned, and it's given me them first. So consequently, I believe if I'd have only gone for 10 containers, it would have given me all the 10 good trains and not all of those commons. So my plan going forward is only to claim one batch of 10 trains once a week and that should knock out the fact that I get so many common trains. Also as well, it seemed to be a little bit that way on normal train containers as well. So although in total, I've claimed about 60 Union containers and 70 Standard containers. Again, I'm going to slow down how often and how many of the Standard containers I'm going to get as well. But running through the trains, on the Union trains, I've earned a 3 and a 4 Epic, a 3 and a 1 Rare, 
and then 15, 16 and 16 on the commons. The two other commons uh, came out of the um, union rewards that I claimed on the season pass, which I was a bit disappointed to have only got two common trains. As for normal trains, obviously so far from the event, I've taken the legendary, the rare and the common. I haven't been able to afford the epic train yet and I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to play the rest of the event because I don't think I'm going to earn that one, so I don't really want to earn the XP. Again, I opened containers on the event pass, but on legendary trains, I got one in containers and one in an event pass container. On the epics, I got a two, two, three, one and one, and three from the event pass. On the rares, I got four, two, three, four, one, and still one which I haven't claimed, and two on the event pass containers. And then on the common, I've got eight, ten, eleven, nine, and eight, and another two on the event pass. So that's given me quite a lot of trains. Um, as before in Finland, I did keep hold of some duplicates ready for the star events but I've now got a decision to make on what I upgrade obviously one advantage with the Union trains is the fact you can use them on everything whereas normal trains you can't use those on Union jobs so although I will be holding on to train parts for event trains as I earn more going through events because I've got quite a glut of Union gears, mainly from selling duplicates of the many, many common ones I got. I think nine of each of those is enough. Um, also, for star events, because it's a spread of all three different types on the common, on the Union trains, I'll still keep one of each of the Netherlands common trains but then I can sell off all the other duplicates of them and the maximum I'm going to keep of the Union common trains is 20 of each so I'm nearly there on that so I'll be able to start chopping them in for Union gears as well but as I've got the glut of Union gears main difference being that the cost of parts as in 29 epic parts here compared to just 15 for a union train means I can upgrade a lot more union epic trains than I can just plain epic trains so that's my next job is to start working my way through upgrading more trains um, might be as and when event jobs require a certain type if I carry on with the event and the only other thing I've got then is to start working my way through the new buildings as they unlock. I think that pretty much covers anything. If there's anything you want to know that I've shown you on here, just please drop it in the comments for the video. And all I say is I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. It does really help support the channel. Thank you and enjoy your gaming.